hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to resume our discussion on digital electronics so far we have discussed the designing of logic circuits from boolean expressions using basic logic gates that is and or inverter xor xnor designing of logic circuits using universal logic gates that is nand and nor in this video we are going to discuss the opposite concept that is we will be uh, having a logic circuit before us and it will have uh, its input values the input signals we have to determine the output expression the boolean output okay it's just the opposite of what we have been doing until now so here we have a logic circuit we will start with simple questions and then we will gradually move to a little bit complex uh, uh, logic circuits so here we have is a logic circuit it consists of two not gates or inverters two and gates and one uh, or gate at last and we have the input signals a and b so we have to determine the output boolean expression so we have to in such questions we have to uh, solve it or we will proceed in layers okay levels so the first level is this the two not gates or inverters then at the second level is the two and gates at the final level we have this uh, or gate so when this a signal is passed through this not gate or inverter the output will be a complement or a bar when this b input is passed through this not gate or inverter it will be b complement now these two signals a complement and b complement are given to this and gate so the output of this and gate will be a complement and b complement to this and gate the inputs are a and b okay the inputs are taken before the not gate so it will be a and this will be b so the two inputs to this and gate are a and b so the output of this and gate will be a b now the two inputs to this or gate okay at last are a complement and b complement and a and b so the output will simply be the addition of these two this is a complement and b complement or a and b so this is the final output now if you uh, remember this is the output of xnor gate okay so this is a simple question we have, we were given a logic circuit and we had to find its boolean output the output logical expression so this is the output expression final output so the concept is you have to divide the whole logic circuit into layers into levels the level 1 level 2 or layer 1 level 2 and gradually solving each layer you have to go to the final level and then we will get the final output so this is the first question we'll discuss many more questions like this okay so this is the second question which we'll discuss again a simple one here it consists of uh, a nor gate a xor gate and gate and a or gate okay so here again the simple concept we have to proceed in layers the first layer 
is targeting this NOR gate and this XOR gate because the input signals are given to these gates. The middle level consists of this AND gate associated with the output of this NOR gate and then we have a OR gate at last to which the output of this AND gate and this XOR gate is given. Okay, so the output of this NOR gate, the A signal is given to it in both these two inputs. So the output will be A bar, A plus A, A or A we know the same signals when it is OR together it results in the same signal and as it is a NOR gate the output will be A complement or A bar. Here it is C. So the two inputs to this AND gate are A complement and C. So the output will be simply A complement and C. This XOR gate, the two inputs are A and B and the output of the XOR gate is given by A complement B or A B complement. These are the two output values of the AND gate and the XOR gate which act as two inputs to this OR gate at last. Okay. So the final output will be simply the addition of these two values A complement and C or A complement B or A B complement. Okay, so this is the value, the final logical output expression of this circuit. Again, it was a simple circuit, but it involved a variety of gates a universal gate, XOR gate, AND gate, and OR gate. So, it was a good question to discuss. A basic question, but still, it's a good question because it involved a lot of gates, uh, different types of gates. Okay, so this is the final output expression. So this is the third question that we have taken. Again, a very simple logic circuit. But uh, the important thing is that again, it consists of a variety of gates. We have a universal gate, a NAND gate, inverter and a three input AND gate. Okay, so let us uh, find the output logic expression, the Boolean expression. <coughs> Sorry. So again, we have to solve it in layers. First layer or first level consists of this NAND gate and this inverter because the input signals are given to this. Then at the final level, we have this AND gate. So the input to this NAND gate are A and B. So the output will be of course A and B whole complement because it's a NAND gate. The output of this NOT gate or inverter is C complement. Okay, so here it is AB complement, C complement and B. The three inputs to this three input AND gate. So the final output will be A, B, whole complement and B and C complement. This is the final output. Okay. Here by mistake don't do this that B into B complement. So here it will be zero. It will be wrong. This B is inside this whole complement A and B whole complement. It is not outside. It is not separate. If it would have been separate, if it would have been like this A and B complement or A complement and B complement, then this would have been applicable. By mistake, a lot of uh, students, especially uh, when they are getting started with this, they write it as zero. That's why it is wrong. If it would have been outside this B complement would have been separate 
then it would have been correct the zero thing but here it is inside this b so it would be just the way it is okay so this is the third question the simple question but it included a lot of different types of gates a universal gate inverter and a three input and gate so this is the third question that we have discussed related to output the boolean output of a given logic circuit